a prominent boulder in the Martian landscape with nearly vertical surfaces provided a rare opportunity to investigate a rock with minimal dust cover. And in a truly weird twist, it looks like it's got sand grains glued onto it. On this episode of Mars Guy, we last left Perseverance dealing with a stuck dust cover on the Sherlock instrument. After weeks of effort that included extended periods using the percussive action of the drill, the good vibrations apparently helped open the cover. But so far, Sherlock has not yet been deployed on the current rock target. About two weeks ago, Perseverance pulled up to a boulder big enough to be seen from orbit, at least using a camera with the biggest telescope ever sent to Mars. Here it is on the ground, viewed with a much smaller camera, and with Mars Guy for scale. The left side has been planed down by sandblasting, and it's got nooks and crannies made by some combination of chemical alteration, wind erosion, and gravity. It also has notably dark surfaces, which on Mars typically means much less dust accumulation. When Perseverance trundled up to this boulder, it parked on a smaller rock that became unglued. At least that's how it looks with the thick crust of fractured sand around it. That crustiness demonstrates the presence of small amounts of cement, probably salts of some kind sticking the sand grains together. As typical for a contact science campaign on a rock, it started by deploying the Watson camera for a close-up inspection. This revealed a pitted surface with mottled colors of gray and reddish hues. A closer view shows that the grayish hues are on smoother surfaces in local lows, giving the appearance of a patchy coating, but different than the purplish coatings common to many rocks observed by Perseverance. But it took the closest view to reveal the weirdest features. Tiny spheres that appear stuck to the surface, mostly on the grayish patches. The most typical way to get spherical particles like these is from wind-blown sand. There are no crystals that grow this way. It'd be easy for wind to lift sand grains to this height, but how would they get stuck to a vertical rock face? Safe to assume it's not covered in some organic goo. My best guess is that this vertical surface was once part of a fracture in an outcrop before it was reduced to just this remnant boulder. Sand grains trapped within the fracture could then become cemented or glued to the rock, maybe by the same salts that form crusts in sand today. Apparently, the boulder was interesting enough to go for a more in-depth look, literally. The drill couldn't fit on the vertical surface, so instead the top of the boulder had to do. That's where an abrasion patch was made to allow a look at the rock a few millimeters below the surface. And apparently that proved interesting enough for the team to move the rover for what I assume will be a sample coring operation. Perseverance has been repositioned a little closer to the boulder, maybe because of concern that its left front wheel wasn't stable enough for the loads required for drilling. Maybe it just needs a little glue. <laughs> 